Hello YouTube, this is Trifecta here of the Boom Headshot Pod, and here we are, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 6. Um, well, I'm sorry, um, for not uploading these daily, I was just very busy lately, but, you know, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, and I'm trying to keep you guys happy by uploading these as fast and possible as I can. Um, apparently, um, here we are, we're back, and we just got ourselves into a boss battle with, um, looks like a Brawly. It looks like Brawly to me, but, um, yeah, his name's Vargas, and he's just, like, some random that you meet. Um, what you need to do is take out the Ipoos, because they are, um, they're kind of dangerous if you just leave them like that, so you need to try to kill all of them and have Locke try to steal um, steal from Vargas because I think he leaves behind like some item if you try to steal from him so you should do that watch out for his Gale Cup move because it does um, does some quite some damage but that shouldn't take you down especially if you followed my my guide because then you would have um, been this level and you would have grinded that much XP and he would have been a blast so just keep attacking him because he has 11,000 HP but um, you're not going to be able to take him down so he, he's going to um, try to send you back but then Sabin comes all of a sudden and you find out that that's his brother so what you do is um, after the scene just, um, you're going to take hold of Sabin and that's it really but, you know, this battle is very easy. Sort of read the scene a little bit. Because he's basically talking to his own brother. And that's the good thing. <laughs> his brother's a fucking brute. I swear to God. How are they related? He's like... He has like a... How do they look the same? I mean, look at that right now. Try to compare. Some scrawny white kid and some nigger. But that's not my problem. Ask it the people that made that game. So, you need to do Blitz in order to take Vargas out. And I played around with the controls. And I really did not know what to do here. You see, because they don't even tell you how to fucking do Blitz. That's how, like, unlinear this game is. And that's what's going to be tough. But, in order to avoid this mess, all you need to do is hold the cursor on blitz and press left right left and then a and then he'll do blitz but apparently i didn't know that so just screwing up right here <laughs> but but it's okay because failure equals success <laughs> sounds so gay but whatever um yeah i would have um finished this battle a long time ago if i knew how to do blitz but it doesn't matter it's okay <laughs> Incorrect blitz command input, whatever. Fuck that. Let's take him out. <laughs> oh my god. I know this is very boring, but you gotta deal with it, you know? You gotta fucking deal with it. You're gonna see this happen a lot. And it's okay. Because get the fuck out if you don't wanna deal with this. So, right here, I still don't get blitz. I still don't get it, cause it's so hard. You can't do it. You can't do blitz. You cannot do blitz. You can't do blitz. Simple if you know how to do it. Left, right, left, A. But you know, I suck at 2D fighting games and Tekken, so you know I can't do this crap. I I I, can't, I just can't do blitz. It, this doesn't work with me like that. It doesn't work. But anyways, I seem to do it. One, the time is right, and I'm about to die. <laughs> but it's okay. I still managed to do it, and I take him out. I take him out. I finally do it, and it's Raging Fist. And 440 damage. And now Varius died. Well, sort of. He's being a pussy now. He's like, you already learned that technique, and then he just fades. What the fuck? Anyways, the battle's too easy if you know what you're doing. Don't make that mistake I made, because then you will suck. 
I'm a disgrace because I couldn't do blitz. But now, seem saving, um, saving describes to everyone else that that's his brother, and he just describes, and then they get into a little agreement with everything, and they're just describing what's going on. And it seems we need to head to the returner out outpost, and that's where we need to go next. And then Saban, he joins your party. He's a really good fighter, I have to admit. If you know how to do blitz, um, really good, then he's one of the best people that you can use in this game. You remember, you put the cursor on blitz, left, right, left, and then A, or whatever the button is for select. So now you just leave this cave apparently um i had to heal the whole party because sabin had 35 hp and it was you know it was the worst pretty dangerous conditions right here i have to say so just checking out his equipment just putting a shield on him make him stronger than he already is and now we are ready to head out so now you do here just leave the cave and go to the treasure chest down there and you get a tent. You can use that anytime on a save point or in the world map and you'll be good. So my party is pretty much overpowered right here. Just do what I gotta do and I take them out one or two hits. And you know, ready to go. You just take them out and then we only get 39 XP because you know we're too overpowered for this. Trust me, grind the XP, it's important. So, you just leave out of here, and the return of hideout is to the northwest, I believe. Just follow the mountain range, and you'll eventually get there. Very easy. Um, if you're interested, you should leave a comment whether or not you want me to edit out the battles, because then the, the let's play would be much shorter, but I don't think it would be much funnier, because, you know... There's so many times where I'll just mess up in a battle. But anyways, you could just leave a comment saying what you want me to do in my Let's Plays. How it could be better. How can I improve? I'm just trying my best right here. By the way, I actually comment after I record. I have at least like six more parts to upload to YouTube and comment. But I've just been very busy. So that's the return or hideout. You can save if you want there. Um, but what you need to do is just talk to the man in front. And instantly he recognizes that you're King Edgar, so you know, just follow him and then Um This is your new hiding place from now on to protect yourself from the Imperial soldiers. So just try to nab as much as you can in this area, search around for treasure chests and stuff. But that man down there is the guy you need to talk to. Well this has been Trifecta. I hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for more Let's Play Final Fantasy 6. I'm signing off.